Hello, everybody. Okay. Okay. Now, it is 7 7.32 Wednesday night. This video was supposed to go up earlier today. I was just watching some fishing YouTube, and I remembered that I was supposed to upload a fishing YouTube. So, today's species list had catch is the Euro European whiting, European kingfish, or just or the wh whiting. Basically, um, in these videos we go over how to catch it and my personal best. So, I'm going to get straight on into it because I am tired. <clears throat> I'm just going to go right over here and your boy's going to put up here picture right now. Um, this is the only picture I have of me with a whiting. I have caught a lot of whiting. It used to be the only fish I ever kept until I caught my first keeper sea trout, and then we started keeping snapper, sheep's head, Spanish mackerel, other stuff. Um, the way I caught this guy was just on a little, like, three-aught circle hook with a doesn't really have to be a massive shrimp. Like, you want a big shrimp if you're targeting snook with shrimp or big sea trout, but like with whiting, they don't really have too big of mouths. So, honestly, any size shrimp will probably work. And if you want uh, some sort of weight on it, I caught this fish with a weight. It was in like 10, 15 feet of water. If you recognize it, um, actually, you can't recognize it because I'm face. You might be able to recognize it. This is right off of the Gandy boat ramp. Before you exit the um, the little inlet thing, right there by that seawall, drop it down. I think it's 10 to 15 feet of water, and that's this was quite a while ago, as you can see. Though recently, we just haven't fished there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take that away. So ways to catch it. Whiting are, they like sandy bottoms, so sandy bottoms are stru structure. Um, I see a lot of people catch them off piers, the beach, and, well, the way I just showed you, in like 15 feet of water on a boat. Um, whiting, there's not too many baits that you can fish from with. I don't really know of any lures, like artificial lures for whiting. I do know that shrimp, sand fleas, and little tiny crabs, they'll definitely eat all those little crustaceans. They probably will eat little fish too. But I'm not, I didn't take my order for that. Um, can use leader, you don't have to use leader. I recommend like 20 to 25 pound line. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah. Um, I put like a, hmm, how heavy, like a half ounce to one ounce weight, bullet weight, split shot. I don't, do split shots even get that big? <laughs> um, any sort of weight that's like half ounce to an ounce with a so two to four, four ounce probably huge for weighting. Whiting have pretty small mouths, like I just said. Um, that's why they only eat small things like shrimp, crustaceans, and sand fleas. Hmm. Um, fishing from a boat, I'm, I am going to say one thing. Bobbers most likely will not work. Unless you have like 10 feet of line underneath your bobber, which probably will not work to catch fish. Um, don't use a bobber. Always a white or free line. I don't, I think whenever I was fishing, I did not use a weight, I think I was, yeah, I was free lining it, um, without a weight, but you could definitely use a weight. The same sort of areas as you would try to target sheep's head, or, huh, what are the kind of fish, in? deep water, like snapper, grouper, whiting, if it's, if, well, okay, whiting is what I'm, we're talking about, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I kinda messed that up there.
I lost track of what I was saying. Um, so, that's gonna have to wrap up this video. I know these videos are short, guys, but I just... I'm really tired today, and there's not really too much to do with whiting. Whiting are really good eating. Highly recommend it. Don't know their size, but I'm pretty sure it's like probably 8 to 10 inches at 2, like 15, 16 inches. Probably around there. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the next episode of Every Fishing.